Hello friends, Jeff here from House of Heresy. I'm back again with another pack cracking episode. And we're going into our second box of March of the Machine Collector Booster Packs. First one seemed like it was okay. Um, you know, I feel like we got, got a couple of the cards that I was looking for. Got a decent number of mythics. Nothing too crazy. Um, but, you know, go check it out if you haven't watched that one already. That's some, some cool stuff in there. Still, still kind of have mixed feelings about this set. It's definitely not one that I'm as personally excited about as I have been about a lot of the other sets that have come out this year, or really within the last, like, since the Brothers War. Um, but, you know, it's kind of how it goes. Can't, can't love every set. So, let's get right into it. Uh, so, looking for as many of the borderless cards as I can, or the showcase cards that have a borderless um, styling to them, so... Especially a lot of like the the, the uh, Praetors, all the the new and old ones. We'd love to get those, and um, yeah, let's see what we what we get here. So we got Rona, Herald of Invasion. I do actually like that card. Ooh, there we go. Got ourselves a Shieldred. She seems like she's popping up quite a bit. So this is the new one. So that will give. Oops, throw her on the ground. And so that turns into the True Scriptures. <laughs> Take that Shieldred can't stand up to Elish Norn, then it's thrown on the ground. But, but that's a cool one. We'll take that as our first mythic. I'm happy to see it. Uh, we got Terror of Toashi. Interesting. Phyrexian Ogre. That must be out of the jump start because I was in the in that slot there. Um, we got a couple uncommons in the uh, specialty formats. Yeah, that's one of the um, Still cannot remember the name of this foiling. I probably should have looked it up. Um, it's not rainbow. Is it halo? Halo foiling? That sounds right. We'll go with that. This is actually kind of cool. I didn't realize that it only, like for these ones, really is only like here and then on the top. That's kind of neat. Even though I'm not a huge fan of this version of the Invocation uh, ones, just because I'm like, I don't know, it just seems weird. It's off-putting <laughs> looking at this thing like the normal lettering. Um, I think if the original Invocations had had this, I would be totally fine with it, but the uh, just coming from the indecipherable other lettering to this, it just looks odd. Ooh, we got another Mythic. Um, this is a Commander Mythic, so we got Burma's Blight of Areskos. Not super familiar with the Commander, uh, commander cards in this set. And we got Squee the Immortal. Pretty cool. In the Dominaria stained glass format. Um, my buddies, one of my friends um, has picked up the Knight. The Knight one, the one with the Eminence. Can't think of the name of the Commander off the top of my head, but um, that was fun. It's cool to, it's cool to see em Eminence come back and not be as busted <laughs> as it has been in its previous formatting. Um, and then that's how we got to play with the plane chase cards, which is actually a ton of fun. If you like Commander and want to spice your games up, that is a great mechanic to throw in there. Ooh, very nice. Ozolith the Shattered Spire. We'll take that. That's cool. I think that's going to be... not. doesn't do quite the same thing that the other Ozolith does, but I think it's going to be kind of fun. We got Yargol and Multani. And very interesting Commander card. Uh, well, it's not a commander card, but I think it will be interesting in commander. And then we got Path of the Enigma, which is a commander card. We got Temerit, Chosen from Death, Wrath, Weatherweight Stalwart. And then we got Guardian of Gilpur, or Gearpur, and Eudora Grave Gardener. Cool. All right. I'd also really like to get uh, the new sword. I was talking with one of my friends the other day um, when we were talking about this set, and I'm pretty confident, I'd say a very high degree of certainty, that that is the only one of the sword cycle that actually appears in extended art. Um, they have done it in borderless, and, um, and then of course they did it in the... Um, uh, the oil slick for uh, the, for the sword from for actually all the one, but I, I'm pretty confident they have never done one just in the extended art formats, not like alternate art borderless like what they have with some of the other ones. 
All right, so we got uh, Valderan Thrill Seeker as our pack foil. Complete the circuit. Interesting. I got Conjurer's Mantle from the Commander set. Rada. Inga again. And Dusk Legion Duelist from in our extended art, sorry, extended art foil. And Jengatha the Wellspring, one of the companions in the um, in the etched foil. So that's cool. I, I do like that styling, the etched foil. All right. Continuing along here. So I would say this box is kind of meh so far. I haven't really been getting quite as many of the of the mythics. So we got Kogla and Yadaro. Archpriest of Shadows. Interesting. Oops. Skipped one there. We got Wand of the World Soul from the Commander set. We got another Inga. Rune Eyes. Tamaret, Chosen from Death. City on Fire. Again, I think this is a pretty good card. Hey, there we go. Got uh, Jinka Taxis. This is um, in the, the new formatting for the uh, original one. And unfortunately, got that roller line up top there. Seems to be a common trait of those, but that's cool. Happy to see that. Let me try to get all those, get all those traders and that borderless-esque um, format there as so much as I can. All right, we got the invasion of Archivios, one of the battle cards there. It's cool. Got Hitsugu and Kiari. Liliana's Talent. This is another one of those um, auras that gets attached to Planeswalkers, which I am intrigued by. Jury Master of the Review. Got Ferja, Ferja God of Valor. Oh, we've got a Mythic Infernal Sovereigns. This is from the Commander set. I'm curious to see how this one's going to play out. Um, hard to say. <laughs> now we got Barrel Chief of Compliance. That's cool. In the uh, um, in the Kaladesh inventions, actually, I like that. I think that's a cool, cool looking card. And Barl's kind of a neat one. All right, continuing along here. So this is the last card of the first half. So pack number six. The swamp, followed by Doomscar Warrior. Fairy Mastermind, that's cool. I think this one is going to be a pretty good one. We'll put that up top as well. Emergent Woodworm, interesting. Temerant Chosen from Death. Dina Soul Steeper. Another uh, Hitsugu and Kari. And finally, ooh, there he is. The Man, the Myth, the Legend. One of my, probably my favorite commander. One of my favorite cards. Garuda Doom of Depths. That's pretty neat, seeing the uh, the formatting there. That will certainly earn a place up top. Not going to swap out my Godzilla alternate art version of him for my Coria, but that is cool. I approve. Always glad to see more Grudas out in the world. It is a lot of fun. If you uh, haven't and are interested, I do have a deck tech video for that, so feel free to go check it out. And I have the deck list posted there from Moxfield, so... Quite, quite fun. Uh, Hoarding Broodlord. Interesting. I think this one could be kind of a fun card as well. Put that up top. Looks like a cool one. Monastery Mentor is another mythic. That's cool. Nice to see. We got Hedron Detonator. Daxus. Yargle. And we got another mythic. Hey, Chandra Hope's Beacon. Very cool. This is the Boros Chandra. Boros Foil Chandra. So that's pretty neat. And Squee the Immortal and Etched Foil. 
<laughs> I'll say that most of the Chandra art looks pretty similar. I did not take many liberties with that one. But, and as usual, Chandra seems pretty decent. Six men is kind of on the high end for Planeswalkers that you would want to put in your deck, but I think she does have some utility there. Firemane Commando, Little Angel Soldier, Guardian of Girapur, another angel. We got, oops, put that there. There we go. Interdisciplinary Mascot, interesting. I think this one is from the Jumpstart, I believe. Got Rona, Shieldred's Faithful. Tetsuko, very cool, and the, uh, the Halo Foil. Very pretty, I like it. And we got hey, another Fairy Mastermind, this one in the Extended Art Foil, we'll take that. And finishing up with Lathil, the Bounteous Dawn. Kind of surprised she got a <laughs> reprint, because that was not one of the more expensive Commander Legends commanders, I believe. Pretty sure. I think that's where she came from. Uh, all right, continuing right along here. We got ourselves a swamp, followed by got the invasion of Ixalan. So that's cool. Another battle. Ooh, there we go. Kogla and Yudaru. Yudaru. There's another. Uh, this one will be going in the cube, for sure. Dance with Calamity. Interesting. I haven't actually seen this one. Um, from the commander set, we got Zada Hedron Grinder. Times two, lovely. And we got a mythic. Ooh, look at that, Elish Norns. This is the new one. Very cool. That is a very nice looking card. And oh, we got another mythic. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll see what the other mythic is, and then we'll go back to Elish Norn. Hey, Azuri, Claw of Progress. Very cool. Again with the border line up or the um, uh, roller line up top. That is unfortunate. But very nice. That one again going in the cube. And then so Elish turns into the Argent Etchings. So yeah, very nice. So we are doing pretty good with the Praetors actually. First box, got a few. Not going to spoil it, but it's happy to see that. And then we got, what was, that? was our third one? Shieldred, Jinkataxis, and Old Elish. Very nice, very nice. Uh, all right, so this is our third to last pack. So in the final 25%, the planes followed by pile on, grafted butcher, Oops. guardian scale lord. Interesting. Got Rev, Agar. And Rankle and Torbrand in the uh, Showcase Foil. And last card of the pack is Cezanne, Perverter of Truth. Very cool. It's kind of a neat looking one. Looks really nice in the foiling there. Get that Kamigawa Neon uh, Showcase. All right, last two packs. Still would like to get a sword. Would love to continue to keep the Mythic Train rolling, preferably with some more Praetors and stuff because they are fun to pull. Got City on Fire again, very nice. Put that up top. Ooh, Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree, also very nice. I will happily put that on top as well. I think that's a cool card. Rowan's Talent, here's another one of the um, Planeswalker Auras. We got Dina Soul Steeper. Quende, Pride of Ephemerith. And we got a rare. Deep Root Wayfinder, cool. And last card is another rare, Emery Lurker of the Lock, that's cool. Actually, that's a really nice looking card, I like that. With the, um, uh, with the Mystical Archive treatment there, it seems, or actually no, I guess that's the, uh, um, that's the Eldrain Showcase, the Fairy Tale Show, whatever they call that Showcase version, so that's cool. We'll put her up top, I like Emery. All right, last pack of the box. Any last pack magic here? We kind of clawed it back a little bit. Um, it's, this box started out kind of slow. S still a little light on the mythics compared to some of the other ones, or 
some of the other ones I've seen and then the other box that we opened, but maybe we can add a couple more here. Boonbringer Valkyrie into the fire. Got Schema Thief. Interesting. Valduke Keeper Whoops. Keeper Flame, all right. Well, just throw the cards everywhere. Another Valduke. <laughs> so I think of the duplication. Quintorius Lore Master. And last card. Looks like we're not adding any more mythics. We got Arya First of Wachthwain. That's actually in the um, um in the Halo foil. Very nice. That looks cool. I like it. That is worth going up top as well because it's a cool looking card. All right, so we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mythics. So we did get we did get three of the Praetors with old Elish probably being the top one there. But we got um, actually th uh, well, I guess two old or two two new ones, and then Jinka Texas is the original, the core auger there. And Azuri is pretty nice, Chandra. So we actually got some, really, like, I'm happy with all these. These ones, I think, are cool, but I, I'm, I, I don't care quite as much. So <laughs> happy to get five five of the eight that are ones I'm actually excited to see. So cool. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, as always, if you liked what you saw, please give us a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And throw some comments down there. I'm uh, really curious to hear what everyone's thoughts are. Um, We'll have a little bit of a break, not counting Aftermath, because that's kind of not really a full set, um, before we get into the next one. So we'll get a little bit of a time to actually kind of process and hopefully enjoy March of the Machines. But um, hoping everyone is enjoying it so far. I, uh, I don't hate it. I just, compared to everything else that's come out, this is probably my least favorite set so far. So that's just my personal opinion. You know, everyone's entitled to their own. So curious to hear what your thoughts are on it, though. Um, thanks again, everyone, and until next time.